Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Yes, it is the holidays, but no, I'm not gonna, you know, not put out content for you guys just because of that. I'm gonna bust out a video and then go eat dinner with my family. So today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to transfer your save data from one Nintendo Switch to another because Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, much like every other Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch, does not support cross well cloud save is what i meant to say not cross save cloud save so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future and check out the discord where people over there hanging out playing pokemon all the time but let's get into it so before i really get into it i just want to answer a couple of quick questions here at the start of the video because i've made a couple of these videos for sword and shield as well as bdsp and i always get the same questions every time okay so let me answer a couple before we get into it first off you need to have two nintendo switch models you need to have two models okay your account has to be on both you have to have the same profile on both nintendo switch consoles and you need to have whatever console the original save data was on you have to have that console if you don't have the console with the original save data you cannot do this your save data is lost so say it broke you traded into gamestop before you transferred your save you did this that or the other if you do not have the original console with that save data it is simply gone and i cannot help you okay now that that's out of the way let's get into it all right so you can see i have my oled plugged into the capture card still have my oled hooked up and we are currently playing Pokemon Violet. You can see I'm riding around. We're right here in the ice mountain. We got this big waterfall here, okay? So we're gonna save. We're gonna save. And then we're gonna close out of the game. I'm also gonna unplug my LAN cable because your consoles have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Now the system that I'm going to be sending the data to is my old Nintendo Switch model. Let's see, this is my Mario edition, my red one from way back when okay that's my old switch that's going to get the data sent to it and this is great for people that you know have a nintendo switch Lite and maybe an oled and only want to take their light on the go this that or the other you know if you have multiple switch consoles that you want to send the data to this is super super helpful so first thing on the console this was again the oled is plugged into the capture card this is the model that has the saved data so you're going to come over here and you're going to hit transfer your data okay then next up you're going to hit send data to another console select the user that you want to do and obviously we're going to pick pokemon violet i'm going to warp us over here to our other console so i can show you guys exactly what to do so on the other console you're going to follow a very similar process here you're going to go over here and you're going to go down to manage software and go to transfer your save data instead of send obviously we're going to receive on this console now it's searching so you can go ahead and click on the other console click this pokemon violet data and hit send they're going to link up i'll switch you back over so you can see exactly what's going on on the other screen and as you can see i'm receiving data on the secondary console transfer complete perfect now, if I open up the game, oh, I don't have my game card, silly me. All right, I put the game card in, but now if I open it up on this system, what this does is this does remove the save data from the other console. So you don't have the save data on the original console you're transferring from anymore. It's on this console. So if I want to send it back, I have to follow the exact same process. And I open it up here. And as you can see, I'm in the same exact spot with the same ice mountain same exact save data it is that simple folks so i just moved my save data back over to my oled which is hooked with the capture card and you can see i'm back exactly where i was like i said if you want to send the data back you just follow the exact same process send it back to you from the switch that you transfer to to the original switch it's that easy again if you do not have the original switch that the save data was on you cannot get your save data back it is just gone I'm sorry to tell you that it's a very unfortunate circumstance, but that is the truth of the matter. It is simply gone. You will have to restart the game, but that is it. So hopefully you guys found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content from me in the future. Be sure also, like I said, at the top of the video, be sure to check out the discord 
super fun place people over there hanging out talking pokemon doing all that fun stuff check out dubby my energy drink partner really good stuff i'm drinking the uh dragon fruit lemonade flavor this morning very very good 10 percent off with code nico it's zero sugar zero calories just throw it in some water and shake it up delicious but if you want to see more from me check out this video where i go over everything you need to know to ev train in pokemon scarlet and violet super super helpful video if you want to get pokemon ready for competitive play if you want to get pokemon ready for high level raids all that fun stuff is right here check that out and also check out this video where i break down every evolution new special evolution in pokemon scarlet and violet if something evolves with a stone certain condition it's in this video check it out but like i said that's it for this one and i hope to see y'all in the next video peace